Ofer always said he wants to retire on a beach with the guitar in his hand. And we got to Kopangan, and he's like, oh my god, this is it. Of course we're working as we're here. We didn't just go there hoping that we'd find a strong enough connection. We went there for a place called Beach Hub, which is a dedicated co-working, co-living situation. It's great because it has the best views. I don't care mm -hmm. what corner office you have, the odds of you looking at something prettier than that beach, it's just doubtful. You know, when you take that and then you say, okay, we'll give you fast internet, we'll give you comfortable chairs, we'll give you a quiet environment, and you're working, every time you look up, paradise. When you're in paradise, you're looking up and you're like, I guess I don't really want to go anywhere. I'm, I'm good working here. <laughs> and I could just stay and work for forever. So living on the beach is incredible. You literally open up your bedroom door in the morning, your bungalow door in the morning, and you walk out. It's you can lie down in the water, like a hundred feet out, and just be like up to your neck, chilling. Yeah. Like you're in a bathtub. You can just keep walking. It goes. The, the water is right up to your knees, yeah. even if you're like a hundred feet in the water. It's amazing. But it's not without hazards. Yeah, don't walk in the water. So we suffered sea urchin sting. We're trying to soak the feet. This one's vinegar. This one's lime. With hot water. Should we show the actual wound? Um, getting those out is not easy. In fact, some of them are still in there. They might be in there. I don't actually know. I don't see them. The problem with getting any kind of medical injury on like the chillest island in the world is like no one's particularly concerned about mm. things. And everybody was like, soak it in vinegar. Hit it. Just hit it. Just hit it. When we went to the pharmacy, she like literally just gave us like a sewing needle and she's like. <laughs> this was oh. also the trip that Ofer got a new hairstyle. It fell off. After I got stung oh, by the urchin, it just fell off. No. Just, just I appeared. I like it. All right, so I put my hat back on so you don't have to look at it for too long. Tell him he looks oh. good. He really needs a confidence <laughs> boost about this. Oh, don't, are you gonna put all this in the video? Some of it. Oh, no. The first night that we're there, we hear what sounded like Jumanji drums. We decided to follow it, so we just set off along the beach following this noise, and we come across a literal drum circle. And it was amazing. And then we find out that it's just every night, every night at sunset, you thank the sun, you thank the sun for the day. Hippies from all over the island aggregate at this one specific point on the beach that happens to be really close to Beach Hub. And they just go at it. They go at it for like hours. All the food on the island was really good too. Thai coconuts. And, and they put those coconuts in everything. So good, that food. Everywhere, everywhere you go, no matter how much of a hole in a wall it looks like, it is amazing. Yeah. Including street markets.
And so from the, the other example that had similar food variety was the festival. They keep going until like 2 a.m. Most nights, we would go to sleep with just the sound of the waves. It was the most peaceful sleep you could imagine. And then suddenly, one night, a festival moves in. <laughs> For like a week, it lasted a long time. It was so loud. I won't make you listen to that. We're gonna go into town. Where the dog would like a You have to lock your door at night. It's a pretty safe island. The dogs have figured out how to push open your door and they will come inside. No, don't sit down. Go out. <sighs> Guys. Come on. Come on. Yeah, those are beach dogs. Um, when you ask people <laughs> about what's happening with the beach dogs, like, are they your dogs? Are they your dogs? No, they're, they're beach like, dogs. no, they're beach dogs. He's gonna like jump up at me. Copangon definitely introduced me to some <laughs> holistic remedies and ceremonies that I had never heard of ecstatic dance tree frog poison a lot of tantric things there are supposed to be like crystals under the earth i didn't do any of those things but i enjoyed hearing about them yeah it's magical copangan thank you for having us we will be back thank you for joining us thank you for watching us thank you for supporting us thank and you if so you like this hit the like button if you want to see more hit the subscribe button Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. There's nothing to really do, right? You just no, there's kinda... lots of stuff. You can go scuba diving, go kayak. Stop. Stop. There's nothing, nothing to, to do. do. There's nothing there. It's just a beach. There's beaches everywhere. It's horrible. Just go somewhere.